welcome to my channel, Dare to Nerd, where we are finally watching Season 3 of The Legend of Vox Machina! Episode 1, titled A Deadly Bargain. So we're getting into the real fight against the Chroma Conclave. I'm real excited to see references to favorite moments from the original D&D &D campaign. I'm also excited to see what they've changed because in our last couple of seasons, there were things that I didn't expect. So it's cool to see how they reinvent this story. But without further ado, let us begin. Episode one in season three in the legend of Vox Machina. Whoop, okay, on the broom. Oh, crap. Oh, they're above Iman. Okay. Okay, he's just flying it. Yes! Oh, the wings are cool! Oh, I love the music. Raishan's mission is more crucial than ever. Uh-huh. Sneaky lion bitch. So he's scouting. Woo! Ooh, those boots of haste are clutch, man. There they are. Oh god. Eggies. Lots of eggies. And those are some ugly soft boils you pooped out there, bud. My children soon will be gods. Gods might be a bit of an exaggeration, but I mean, you know, they think of themselves as gods. So, you know, yeah, it makes sense. Ah, uh, just barely. Yeah, yeah, it's not- Ooh, crap! Oh, he froze the well. Okay, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Yo, what an intro! One day earlier, okay. We're going back in time. Uh, enough of this, yeah. Well, don't. yeah, she you not you not okay. ready for her yet. Maybe a little more yapping. <laughs> Maybe a little more yapping. We know firsthand what you're capable of. Oh, Your yeah. kind raised by Rodin. Thordak is the one that raised by Rodin, right? But some can be truthful. They can be truthful when it serves their ends. Not a stranger to vengeance, are you? Then you know it can create unusual allies. Oh, I don't know if I would call Orthax an ally. More like a parasite. But centuries of survival have given Thordak knowledge of a cure. Free me, deceased deceiver. And I shall free you of your ill. You're literally nicknamed the Disease Deceiver, and you didn't see that deception coming, my girl. <laughs> Fused with it, its elemental yeah. force nourishing his body, contaminating his mind. Yeah, it made him crazy. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. The oh yeah, I mean he got bigger. He got really big. Yeah. He juiced up. That was a cool animation, though. Like, he was literally tethered to the stone. Like, that's not how I had pictured it before in the campaign. I thought he just couldn't leave the elemental plane of fire. Oh, no, that is how it was before, because they saw him flying above them at one point in the plane of fire. So, yeah, it was different in the campaign. He was really restrained in this version. I begged him to use prudence. Who needs prudence when you got magical steroids? Your magic made him like this. With that crystal in his chest, neither yeah. of us can destroy him alone. Yeah, she made him too strong. I assume you wish me dead, Ashari? That's an understatement. Duh. Your wish will soon be granted. The pain grows worse every day. Man, I hope you feel that festering in the afterlife, bitch. The wish will soon be granted, but not nah, that. That's been there for 50 years. It's getting worse, but it's getting worse slowly. Like, she has time. Plan? Pl what plan? This vague bullshit's getting old. A new order of elemental dragons born of his own spawn. The ugly. Oof! My vision. Okay, but then in his vision, if Vax is saying that his vision is of the future, doesn't that look like Raishan right there? Cobra looking ass. 
That was Umbrasil too. So maybe that was partially a vision of the past. And then this, the result, is all of the fire elemental dragons. I mean, what are we waiting for? We got vesticles. Vestiges. Vest- <laughs> I love Grog so much. I mean, it would be better to sneak in and start making some omelets, but you know. The plate of the Dawn Martyr. I don't Let's suppose go. you brought this thing with you in like a big purse, <laughs> like a tote? Mary Poppins bag. Now another treasure hunter seeks it. So time is of the essence. Raishan. Someone else is after Go it? fuck yourself. Woo! Anyone can conjure fuck illusions. You. This is clearly an ambush. I mean, it's not an ambush per se, or else all of you would be dead. Like, for real, if she wanted you dead, you wouldn't be here. But I do agree that it is manipulation. She has a way of twisting the truth and leaving out just tiny details to serve her own purposes, of course. She's telling the truth about what she's saying right now, but um, I'm not saying anything else because spoilers! Just in case they don't get to that particular part of the story in this season, because I don't know how far they got here. You all agree with the Ashari? We're a team. Mm -hmm. That's right, you fuck with one of us, you fuck with us all, bitch! You're right. Waking in your away. arms again? Oh, you should start charging me. Hey, he he's a rogue. He might take you up on that. I mean, waking up in any of their arms would make me happy, too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> For the last time, Grog, it's me. <laughs> mm-hmm. And say something only the real Keeper Yenin would know. Uh, sometimes you wear a crown and call yourself Grand Poobah the Mayonnaise. Did doink! When no one's looking. Hey, 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 you did not say the full title. That is an official title, woman. Respect it. It's Grand Poobah de Doik of all of this and that. Put some respect on the Poobah's name. Maybe it's, we should listen. It's personal for Keyleth. Sometimes a stiff moral code must be bent for the greater good. No, I will not dishonor the Ashari. Yeah, and she flies away. Go fly after her, will you? I'll go after her. Yep, there we go. I was almost expecting her to snap back at Percy <laughs> for that comment. Like, you would know. No mercy, Percy. It is the deal with the devil, but there are definitely stories of people outsmarting the devil. How'd that work out for you, Stingy Jack? Mm hmm Oh, look at the fireflies in the tree. It's so pretty. The sun tree. Whoever's there, you don't want to fuck with me tonight. I don't doubt it. I mean, what kind of fuck with are we talking here? <laughs> I miss you. There were things I needed to understand. With the matron, I'm finally ready for whatever comes next. Dark leaves, the dark leaves that look like feathers. Let's go! Oh, what is this now? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and she's older. Her headdress got a lot bigger there. Wait, did she have her mantle on? Nope, she doesn't have the mantle. Okay. If you know what that means, you know what it means. Guess they got a big monument to them. Except Keyleth. She's there alone. That's pretty much her worst fear and what keeps her from pursuing relationships. A relationship with Vax, specifically. Sorry. Sorry, was so that he bad? Saw that? I, I felt your tongue and it freaked me out and, and I'm, I'm new at this and... <laughs> She's like, I am not experienced. I, I need a moment. Oh, uh, um, okay. Oh, poor girl's confidence is already fragile. Oh no, man. She thinks he didn't like it. It's interesting that he saw that vision. I guess because of his connection with the matron, with fate. Of course, you know, the strings of fate. There's a certain level of seeing the future or predicting it that he can achieve there. But that's always kind of been Keyless fear, right? Is that she's going to outlive everyone that she cares about and then she'll be alone. So I hope that's not a fear that now Vax is going to take on because that's just going to make all of this even more of a soap opera. What's really bothering you, darling? Darling. When the Briarwoods came, no one could have prevented it. But this, I had us flee here, and Rashan followed. No one can undo the past. Well, one can certainly also, try. 
Yeah, well, we're not gonna be f messing around with time. But also, like, where else would you have gone, man? Where else would all of the people that were brought here have gone? The Chroma Conclave was slaughtering everyone in Iman. Y'all barely made it out alive. Like, you know. Of all the things to blame himself for, I don't think this is one of them. No, not this. This is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I know we can. Drink it. Together. No. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Look at Trinket staring at him. Look at it, Trinket. Back off of my mama. Thought you better watch where you put that hand. You're going to lose it. Sundry, if you can hear me. Grant us luck. Yo! We got a voice for the sun tree! Wait! 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 Let me hear it again! Alright. <laughs> yeah! You got it, Keyless. <laughs> yeah, we finally got the voice! Let's go! They had to make it sound a little more mystical than before, but that's okay. They got the right vibe. <laughs> the item you requested should make quite a show. Which item did he request? I don't remember. Place go Whoa. looking rough. Place looks yeah. like shit. <laughs> Not the word I use, but yeah. I'll be making a daring aerial incursion. Which is certain to fail. I mean, I wouldn't say certain. Is highly likely to fail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, highly yeah. likely to <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Stubby. Always a force of unwavering support. <laughs> and I'll be ready with the signal for when he fails. If, oh, when if I fail. Sure, brother. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Do the thing! Do the thing! What? You kill more? So the special order was just... A flare, basically, a signal flare. <laughs> Sparkly Gilmore's initials. Alright. Give them a taste of our toys! You're taking them on now? And you're taking them on two at a time? Guys, ain't no way. I mean, oh, yep! Oh, what? That's just not fair. You could just blast them away with your neck? No! <laughs> Man, that was disrespectful. He didn't even give Grog the full blast. He just exhaust piped him away. <laughs> Come on. Taking out a regular ancient dragon is hard enough, and then you got this thing. Oh, hey! All right, there's a good vestige. Hit him again, hit him again, Jesus. Can we please separate these two? She was right about all of it. We need to retreat. The, nest. the vestige is on enough. We need to run. Retreat! Fall back. Live to fight another day! Hello! Mm -mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your relics will lie oh my with your God. What the? It didn't do anything to him. Her bow did something to him a minute ago. It at least distracted him, made him flinch. Now they're not doing anything. He's not even blinking. They need to get more XP and level up. <laughs> they skipped all the side quests and most of the mini bosses and went straight to the final boss. <laughs> Oh, it's cracking, it's cracking. Yep, it's not. She's just not powerful enough. Oh, not the buddy! Yeah, he got her. Let's go. Right, Sean. Of course. Careful where you point that. She slithered in right in the nick of time. Oh, Raishan got hit. What? What? Raishan didn't make it out. Oh no, she did. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ah! Woo! Sent him flying. I'm kind of surprised she couldn't use her magic no, do to you trust me? do that, but... Well, no. No, of course they don't trust you. They just know that right now you're telling the truth about what you have said. But your long-term intentions, no, of course they don't. But how did they get that? Oh. Ah! I will have Vox Machina brought to me. Oh, and no. the shell. Burn. Ooh, 
The flames coming out while he's breathing. Yeah, he is definitely enraged. Why did he, why did he scratch? What was the point of that? Why would he hurt himself? I don't think the gem, like if you, if he had gives blood to the gem, maybe it makes him more powerful or anything like that. I don't, I don't think that's what's going on here. I mean, he is insane. The marbles are gone. So that could just be to show that he's going nuts, but yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Why would he actually damage himself, hurt himself? Oh, the music. Yes, the desert aesthetic. Let's go on Corral! Woo! Look at this massive river running through the city. The river is reminding me of the Nile in Egypt. And it looks like there's like a canyon around it, like a Grand Canyon. And the huge tower, dude. Hey, and his old stomping grounds. Marquette. Also, fun fact, my old stomping grounds. That's what I just said. Ah. The River District, where you can find anything your heart desires. Hey, look! It's the tabaxi! Vax, uh. remember that favor you owe me? Oh, no. Bombay Supper. Easier said than done. Yeah. It's high noon. There are eyes everywhere. It's high noon. Keyleth, I... <laughs> Percy? Guns? Oh, that yeah. That sounded like... Yep. How'd they get your designs? Oh, someone else is after... Of course I'm stupid. Ripley's been collecting shit. Okay. Who did this to you? Boy, she look at him sweating. Is still here. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was looking at the plate of armor. I could hear the whispering, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, she got it, too! What was this cloak she was wearing? What? Where did she get that? Why the hell am I seeing the cosmos in your cloak? What is that? Percy, we need to keep our heads if we're going to- uh, Nope, there he the right. goes. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. Kilos isn't the only one that got personal business. Okay, Anna's picked up some new toys. What were those? The Boots of Haste? With lightning, okay. She was moving kind of like Vax was at the beginning of the episode. Oh no! Oh, poor guy! Vax, yep. your broom! Follow them! The I, I gave what it to Scanlan! You what? You what? You did what? The who now? Why would you give an Dr. Dranzel? He just cruising along, doing the loop-de-loops. He's living his best life. I mean, I know he called in a favor, but like, you don't know what he's gonna do with that broom. Ooh. Yeah, the music. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, it, it throws it back at you. Yeah, of course it does. Some kind of portal cloak. Wait, it's fucking Cabal's ruin. Okay. I am disappointed in myself. Yes, I know what the cloak is. Good day, that took a minute for me to put together. Spice? Huh? Uh, uh, spice. I'm sorry, what? You spice. You spice. Spice it. Spice it? Spicy spice? Is that supposed to be Matt? I'm going to see my daughter. Oh. Does she spice? Does she spice? Dude. <laughs> Dr. Anna Ripley. Ooh, he got up Why there. Why am I not surprised, Percival? Hand over the vestige. Which one? Yeah, she got multiple. You're all alone. Oh, that's the thing, Percival. I'm never alone. Oh, no. Yep. She's with Ortha. Ooh, the light in her eyes going white. That was cool. Now Orthax wants revenge. In memoriam of Lance Reddick. Hey, look at the concept art. Spice! Nice, I like it. Alright, first episode down. I am so excited that we are in Ankarel. I can't wait to meet Jamon Saord. He is one of my favorite NPCs of the campaign. 
And of course, Anna's here. All right. So she was collecting vestiges for Umbrasil. I'm assuming her ultimate goal is just to advance her own power. But I'm wondering if she's still throwing in with the Chroma Conclave. I don't know if she's made a deal with Thordak or not. Setting up for some serious drama. But that'll be it for this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!